Hi, I'm Natasha, and in this video I'll show you how to add lights to wearable projects by creating your own simple circuits. Everything you see in this video is in the Getting Started with Wearables ebook, available to download for free at browndoggadgets.com. Let's get started. Circuits have four main components, a power source, wire, outputs, and inputs. For wearables, we use coin cell batteries because they're lightweight and small. We typically use CR2032 batteries because they're common and fit in the Crazy Circuits battery holder too. Most circuits use metal wires to connect components. For wearables, we replace the wire with more flexible materials. One option is Maker Tape, a conductive tape that's made of woven metal fabric with conductive adhesive on the bottom. It's flexible and flat and can be easily stuck to fabric or felt. It comes in two sizes quarter inch and eighth inch. We use quarter inch tape for wearables because components like LEDs are easier to attach with wider tape. The eighth inch tape is great for working in brick based environments. The other option is conductive thread. This thread is made of metal fiber so that it conducts electricity but can be sewn like regular thread. The output of a circuit is what it does. The example circuits in this video use LEDs as the output so they light up. I'll show you two types of LEDs. 10 millimeter or gumdrop LEDs, and crazy circuit LEDs. These LEDs come on a small circuit board with tiny holes, so they're easy to sew. Inputs are ways to interact with a circuit, like buttons and switches. Yes, you can have a circuit with no input, but a string of lights is always better with a switch. Inputs add interactivity and control. Other handy materials to have while building wearables include fabric or felt, sewing needles, sewing thread, scissors, tape, and other embellishments to make your circuits come to life. So let's make circuits. I'll show you how to make a light up bracelet with one or two LEDs using both the maker tape and conductive thread methods. The electronics needed to make the maker tape bracelet are available in the wearable circuits kit, and the electronic materials needed to make the conductive thread bracelet are available in the sewing circuits kit. Let's start with the maker tape bracelet with one LED. Add two pieces of maker tape to the back, connect another piece of maker tape, and wrap it over the edge to the front, stopping at the location of the battery. Add a loop of maker tape on top, then place the battery on top of it with the positive side of the battery facing up. Place maker tape over the battery and down along the line, stopping at the location of the LED. Continue to cover the rest of the lines with maker tape. Bend the LED legs flat, then at a 90 degree angle as shown. Place the LED, aligning the positive, longer leg, and the negative, shorter legs. Secure the LED in place by laying another piece of maker tape over each of the LED's legs. Add a loop of maker tape on top of the horizontal pieces at the bottom to create a closure for the bracelet. Create a bracelet design using the flower template and glue or tape it over the LED. Or create your own design. Now that you see how to make a bracelet with one LED, Making one with two LEDs is easy. This bracelet is the same as the first, but two LEDs are connected in parallel, so both LEDs are touching both positive and negative. Use the template to make a robot's eyes light up, or dream up your own two LED design. Now that you see how to make these circuits with maker tape, let me show you how to make the circuits with conductive thread and crazy circuits. When sewing circuits, I like to lay out my crazy circuit components first and use regular thread to tack them in place. This sets the stage for where all of my connections will go. If you know how to sew with regular thread, sewing with conductive thread isn't that much different, but here are some tips to keep in mind. When starting and stopping a conductive thread circuit, make sure you have a strong knot that is trimmed tightly. To start, I like to make a stitch through the fabric and back and then tie a triple knot. Then I cut the thread very close to the knot to be sure a loose tail won't short my circuit. Use conductive thread single ply making a running stitch by going in and out of the fabric to the next component. You can make multiple stitches at once by inserting the needle up and down like this. To connect to the components, tie two knots around the hole in the Crazy Circuits chip. If using felt, you could choose to only go through half of the felt so that you can't see the stitching on the outside too. Use these techniques to follow the single LED template like this or the two LED template like this. Note that the thread connections on the two LED bracelet keep going to connect both LEDs together before the thread is cut off. 
With the same wearable circuit techniques, you can add lights to all sorts of wearable projects. The possibilities are endless. And you can use maker tape on more materials too. Use it on paper to make interactive cards, or you could even place it on walls and windows. Let us know your wearable ideas. And stay tuned for more projects, templates, and tutorials from roundoutgadgets.com.